Hi there, this is Heather with AutismChrysalis.com, and I wanted to address a question that comes up frequently. As people are working through a burnout recovery, a lot of times there's a fear that if you start paying attention to what's going on inside, increasing this internal awareness, that you're just going to make things worse, that especially if you're if you live with chronic pain, that you're just going to feel in pain more and it's going to actually worsen your quality of life instead of improve it. And that's definitely something that I was afraid of because I've lived with chronic pain since I was 12 years old. Just as I'm sitting here talking to you now, I'm in pain. Um, for me at the moment, it's pretty low level compared to my pain, but it's it's just something that's always present. And I was really afraid when I started working on my sensory stuff, that's kind of where I started with burnout recovery, that it was just going to make it worse, that I was going to start noticing all of these sounds and I was going to be even more overwhelmed by sound than I already was, that I was going to notice my pain even more, that I was going to just be even more overwhelmed than I already was. It turned out not to be the case, but I wanted to address that head on because it's a very common fear. And if you do it in a way that is literally just noticing your pain more often, that probably will happen. Um, but there are other ways to do it. And what has worked very well for me and for my clients and other people who I hear their stories is simply noticing very, very gently, very small things about areas of your body that aren't in pain at the moment or aren't in as bad pain at the moment. Um, it could start with something as simple as noticing your hands. Like, are your hands warm or cool at this moment? Are they itchy? Are they tingly? Are they scratchy? Are they fidgety? Do they want to move? Um, so what are you, what sensations are you noticing? Are you noticing any clothing that's touching your hands or any other objects that are touching your hands? I've got these little fidget toy, just little wooden blocks that I fidget with that I can feel the impression of having squeezed them just a moment ago. Just simply, what do you notice? What's there and what's not there? Maybe they're not itchy. That's great. You can start with those negative things too. It's like, it's not this, that is a beginning. And over time, it will grow to being able to notice what is there. Um, but if you just notice, bring your attention to one area of your body that's either not in pain or not as intense. And just for a few seconds, it doesn't even have to be that hard. It doesn't have to be that long. This doesn't have to be your new special interest that you dive into. And that itself can be too intense. You want to start gentle, slow, just a little bit at a time. And as you as you do this, your brain will be slowly attenuating to the fact that it's not all bad. If you don't have really great internal awareness, it can feel like everything is all or nothing. Like it's I'm in pain or I'm not. Um, it's all bad or it's all just numb, normal, fine. Can't really tell. But as you do this more and more, you'll start to notice differences. You'll start to notice nuances. You'll start to be able to disambiguate this type of experience from that. And you'll start to notice when this happens, this is how I feel. When that happens, this is how I feel. And over time, you'll be able to notice more of like, okay, so I am feeling something bad. What about it is bad? Can I fix that part so it doesn't feel as bad? Can I shift my position in a way that is more comfortable for me? Can I eat something? Can I notice that I'm hungry or that I'm thirsty or that I need to use the restroom or that I need to turn that um, a stereo down or ask someone else to, to do something that to, to adjust the environment in ways that feel more comfortable for you? Or alternatively, sometimes when you're feeling really great and you're enjoying something, there could be a fear that um, that if I pay too much attention to that, I'm going to get out of this enjoyment. 
well, I've, we'll see, I need to move because that was causing more pain. Um, but see, I can make that little adjustment and then continue with the video and not be in as much pain after the end of this. So you can make those little, little real-time adjustments in your life that can um, can lead to your not using as much energy. All right, I was saying about the when you're enjoying something. So there could be a fear that it'll be pulled, that you'll pull out of that enjoyment. And my experience has often been though that I'll get like really intensely into something for a while and then I'll feel really shaky afterwards. And it'll take me a while to realize that I'm actually pretty hungry. Like my blood sugar is very low and I need to do something about that. But if I noticed earlier on and I had some snacks handy because now I keep snacks handy with me, I can notice, oh, I'm getting kind of hungry or my brain is not working as well, or I'm noticing various other physical effects. And I can just reach over and get a snack and I can eat as I'm doing this. I don't have to interrupt so that I can stay in the enjoyment longer, or I can just shift my position as I did a moment ago so that I don't like my leg doesn't fall asleep and I can enjoy the enjoyable thing more without having negative side effects later. So just noticing, bringing your attention just briefly to various experiences in your body and noticing them little bits over time will add up. And over time, it'll start to become a bit of a background awareness of just what's going on inside and how things are affecting you. And it will allow you the abilities to make adjustments in your life to use less energy to get through situations so that you will be able to, to recover from burnout and make other decisions, make all sorts of, um, and this is long-term, but be able to make other decisions in your life that are bigger, that require you being able to notice how things affect you. All right, so that's the idea. I'm wondering how this is landing for you. Please leave comments below if you're interested in sharing or have questions. And I hope something in this was helpful. If you like it, please click like or subscribe if you'd like more videos like this. You can share it with someone that you think might find it useful. And I'll see you another time. Have a narrow, wonderful day.